What's going on YouTube? It's Donnie B all day bringing you another knife. Now normally I put it up on the rack and I show you and it's a little shady up there and you can't see all the great details at once. But this piece is one you need to see all the details. This, my friends, is the uh, white tail cutlery, which is I believe like a frost cutlery type product. Uh, Civil War presentation buoy. Before I get into it, the sheath, as cheap as this thing is, the sheath is only only half bad. It's actually not too bad, but let's get rid of that because we're not talking about this. So this thing you see on the websites, and you know it's 15 inches long with just about a 10 inch blade, and you see this and you think, wow, what a great collector's piece. It's so beautiful. I mean, you look at the Civil War, you know, it's all edging there so beautiful and you're thinking oh my god This is the kind of piece that you want to hang in a wall and save forever because it's gonna be the most gorgeous knife You'll ever own well, it's not and The uh, the price reflects the quality of this blade. These are dirt cheap. I, I think these are 50 or sub 50 even maybe $25 you can probably get these for of um, Presentation knife making right? So usually when they make something like this, it's to display. And so when they do that, they take a whole lot of care in the fit and finish because this is a display piece. You want to show this off. This isn't one that you're going to be using every day because, you know, then you rub off the great display. But for a display piece, the fit and finish is a little bit less than finished. So I don't know if you could see this right here where it's just raised and not really finished right, you know, right out. Look at the pins are all garbage and caca this brass is just awful um the pins on all the way around are just bad um the stag while it's nice looking stag they did nothing to care for it i mean the fit and finish overall of this thing while some of the pieces are cool the way they done the way they've done um the pommel here look at this how they did some nice cool etched out lines and then they kind of half ass grinded in these crappy pins and it's full tang and it's got all the makings of what could have been a great knife but they didn't give a shit um so the steel on this thing first of all it's got a good thickness the way it's supposed to be and uh there's two things about this that you don't really want to see on knives one and i don't know if i can get it in there right around there it says pakistan right there when you see that just stamped across a blade like that um automatically chalk it up as wow this is a knife i totally don't need to buy um because it's gonna be crappy and cheap the other thing is this little stamp right here i don't know if we can read it but surgical steel now when you hear surgical steel automatically you're thinking holy shit that's what doctors use and doctors are fucking make a lot of money and they need good steel you know what surgical steel is? Surgical steel is stainless steel. That's what it is. A uh, scalpel, which is surgical steel, is just a surgical tool made of stainless steel. It's very thin, it's very sharp, it works great. Um, you're not gonna be chopping wood with a scalpel, so they don't need it to be extra strong. Um, so to show off the fact that it's surgical steel just tells you that they know their product sucks and they're trying to use a little mind game with you to get you more interested in this piece of shit than you should be. Um, but here's the thing. As rough as it is, because it's not ugly, it's definitely not ugly. This is a very attractive knife from five feet away. Um, but as rough as it is, this brass does not hold up well. I mean, it is. I don't even know if it's brass plated, I think. Um just just so rough the pins are what really gets me they're so horribly done um let's see the the grind on the um on the blade it's actually even right here generally on a, on a knife that's not well done you'll see like these two are uneven right here that it would be uneven up here very well done in that aspect until you get to right here now i don't even know if i can show you this i don't know if you could see it but this right here, I mean, it's two completely different knives from one side to the other. 
whoever whoever ground this down I mean I don't know if they did it with their teeth or what but the edge the cutting edge is farther on this side down than it is on this side <laughs> all right I'll take it so um it is what it is but um is what it is doesn't mean it's any good so let's uh let's put that to the test right now we're gonna actually chop with the Civil War, this looks nice, presentation buoy from Whitetail Cutlery. All right, so here we are. We're at the pallet. Um, I'm gonna take a part of the pallet that's already beaten down and we're just gonna finish it off. And uh, I have a feeling that it's gonna have no problem getting through. My question is, what was the blade gonna look like and I'll tell you what, it surgically ripped it apart without damaging the edge. Um, that's not bad. Um, I wanna try a little pry action with this thing. Um, all right, let's see what we can get here. We can do this without breaking it, and so far, so good. So, performance-wise, just uh, as we get started doing a, a couple of small things, all right, so, I was able to pry a little bit with it. I was able to chop a little bit with it. And the test is is right here. This is what we all look for. Okay, well, we do have some edge damage. Um, I am not sure if I'm going to be able to get this in, but we have a, a little fold, almost like a chip right here. I don't know if you can see it right there. I'm pretty sure you can see that. Um, so uh, round one of testing has a failure actually there's another little chip right here a little tiny guy right there now these because this is surgical steel these are something i'm going to be able to knock out real quick bring this edge right back that's not going to be a problem i'll be able to use a stone to do that by hand what is the problem is that it shouldn't be happening on a knife you know what i mean it, they should take a little bit more care into making these damn things what do you want it's a presentation um, buoy and it's freaking whitetail cutlery. This is not steel wheel. This is not case. This is not SE. This is not tops. Um, this is exactly what it is. So let's um, take our chips and go play some more. All right. All right. It's a bit breezy today. The wind is kicking up. So hopefully you guys don't fall down. Let's do some drop tests here and uh, some prying. And I have to say that the prying so far hasn't truly disappointed me. Um, and it's dropping nice and straight. And for these busted ass pins, um, I have to say that uh, they haven't loosened yet. That's a good thing. There we go. If we're gonna bend the tip, we're gonna bend the tip lifting a freaking thousand pound stump. And the tip is in good condition. So, uh, I'll tell you what, man, this thing, so bitch. this thing comes out of the hand really, really, look at the flex, man. I'll tell you what, the, the blade flexes beautifully. Um, and a, the good thing about a flex is when it comes back and it doesn't have any bows in it. There's, it's dead straight. The only problem so far besides fit and finish is a couple chips in a blade. So, uh, let's see what we have here. Let's see. This wood is uh, pretty rough, but we'll see. I don't even like the sound of the blade hitting the wood. I don't know if you guys are getting that, but it just sounds tangy. So, all right. Um, one thing I will tell you is that um, the shock that you get from banging on this is insane there's a whole lot of shock uh, many more chips now it looks like the original two um, find a piece real quick stay with me now um, here's something that I do like this little space right here um, which is horribly ground you can see it's not even at all it's not straight it does act like a choil and um, that's good so <laughs> <laughs> anybody anybody else seeing what I'm seeing? 
<laughs> okay, here we go. So you really have to manipulate the angle to get this thing to shave. <laughs> this thing sucks. So uh, let's uh, really try and push this. I mean, I'm I'm really. This isn't bull. I'm not like saying, oh, I don't like this company, so I'm gonna give it a fake review. And I'm trying, brother. I'm trying. I mean, look at the angle I'm pushing this at. Can you guys see that? I'm barely getting anything. All right. So let's uh, try and get some. Let's try and get some prettiness out of here. All right. Well, I told you guys before, and everybody thinks that you can tell how great a blade is by the way it feather sticks. This blade sucks. Those are beautiful feathers. Those are great curls. And I told you before, you can sharpen a spoon and feather stick. So don't watch one of those videos that shows 45 minutes of freaking feather sticking and some guy going, oh yeah, it's the greatest camp knife in the world because I can make all these curls. So did this fucking thing. And this sucks. So um, let's keep playing with it. All right, so the one in four, uh, one inch forest, the one in, the one inch forest is pretty much down and out so what i'm doing is i'm taking some of the parts that have already fallen and we're going to just go through that it's not going to be the exact same it should work no problem but obviously it's better when you're talking about something that has the ability to free free wobble whatever you want to call it um, as far as you know chopping through these little guys this thing will easily easily get the job done let's see if i can just free hang it here and it didn't break it cut so um kudos to you white tail you can get through my one inch forest excellent keep going all right so my favorite test of all is um the throw this thing i don't know where the balance point is i think it's right at the end is it's right at the the base of the actual cutting edge so it is definitely, definitely not made to throw, not meant to throw, not expected to throw. So you know what I say about that. We're gonna throw it. All right, let's play. Five yards away, five yards away. Gonna throw this piece of crap. All right, let's see if we can get the stick here. <laughs> All right, so. That sounded like a cartoon spring. Boing, boing, boing. All right, so let's uh, let's try that again. That's definitely um, the error was in the throw. I'm trying to get this balance down, and first time throwing it was not easy. All right, so it doesn't take me long to learn the balance of a blade. Um, that said, I'm most likely going to miss my second one because I just talked some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, y'all. Just stay with me here. Um, I'm going to try this again. Learning this one is so tough because of the weight distribution. All right. I don't know if you heard that. Oh, wow, it's in there real, really good. Um, that was more of a toying. Um, so far, so far so good on the edge. I'm going to back up a little bit. And uh, I'm going to throw it underhand. Because I haven't done that yet with it. Oh, that's just like a half step beyond five yards. When I said back up a little bit, don't think I was reaching that 10 yard mark. Um, that was underhand. And I gave it a, a straight throw. And uh, that worked out pretty good. Now I'm going to back up to seven yards on an overhand throw. And uh, see if we can get this thing to go. Oh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, I shouldn't be having this much fun throwing this thing because I don't like it, but I love throwing it. Man, the sounds it's making, oh man, I don't know if you guys can see that. That's one thing I forgot to show you. Look at the, the fitment right there. I could stick a dime in there, in between that, that scale and the, and the brass. Um, it looks like they even use some filler. I don't know if you guys can even see that, but there's such a big gap, it looked like a piece of filler is in there. Okay, so what I learned is that it rattles like crazy. I'm pretty sure if I continue to throw this, that this scales are going to loosen and it's probably going to fall off. Um, I've told you before that it's disrespectful to try and break a blade. That's not my goal. Um, if they break, they break. You can't do anything about it. But 
I'm not going to be an asshole to the knife maker. Whoa, I got you. Um, I'm not going to be an asshole to the knife maker and do a torture test just for the sake of doing a torture test. Um, we're out here at the tree. I just had some, some fun throwing it, so let's just close this thing up. Um, this is the Whitetail Cutlery Civil War Presentation Buoy in <sighs> surgical steel from Pakistan. Um, the blade has some issues. The fitment has some issues. Um, is that nice? Yeah. If this was going to be um, put somewhere in your house as a presentation um, and never, ever, ever used and nobody got really close to it, then it could um, it could be a nice presentation piece. Um, it, can you take this out in the woods and use it? Yeah, I know I can. Um, would I recommend this being a main blade? No. Um, do I think you could throw this in your trunk um, for the price? And uh, and I think it is around 50 bucks, I think so. Um, but do I think you could put it in your trunk and have it as a backup or an emergency, I need a buoy knife knife? Yeah, I definitely think you could do that. Can you chuck this into a deer from seven yards away? <laughs> yeah, this thing is uh, this thing is pretty beasty as far as that's concerned. I know that if I needed to, I can come down on a gator's head and pull some crocodile Dundee shit. Um, but I live in Massachusetts, no gators. Um, so, so here's the thing: it's it's made as a presentation buoy. It is a presentation buoy you are going to present the blade one side at a time because if you do this, you're gonna see the faults um, a lot more than you're gonna to wanna to present. Even though I love the stag, it's just not done well. It's not cut well. There's gaps in between the pins. There's gaps between the brass. I mean, if for something that's a presentation, you'd expect the fit and finish to be better. It's not, c'est la vie, it is what it is. Um, as far as, is it a fun, cool knife? Yes. This is not the knife that you're going to want as your survival piece, as that one blade, that hunting blade, or that blade that you're going to rely on. This is the knife that um, is going to impress some friends who don't know anything about knives. They're going to come in, they're going to be like, well, gee, that's freaking great, Tom. And you're going to be like, thanks, my name's Jerry. Um, and But that's it. That's what this knife is. Um, it's never going to be anything more than that. Um, is it worth the 50 bucks if you're using it as a presentation piece or if you want to throw it into a tree it's uh, for, for me just throwing it, it's worth 50 bucks that was fun um, outside of that no I mean 25 bucks would be a great price on this knife 25 bucks would make this knife it, it, the video would be completely different I'd be like wow what a great knife for 25 bucks but is what it is whitetail cutlery uh, Civil War buoy um, and that's it. I'm Donnie B. All Day, and until next knife.